Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Fiber Laser Training. Last video I wasn't here. Uh, I was at a friend's house though. But um, last video at least I got to do the dad joke. But um, so today my dad's going to teach me how to do a multi-layer coin. What? So stay tuned for sure. I'm going to do this first part. Uh, we're going to kind of fly through it. I'm going to time lapse it. And maybe we'll put some bloopers in there because I'm sure he's bound to mess up. But um, he's going to do this coin by himself, and then I'll go back through and try to do a more in-depth rendition of it. So happy watching. All right, and then hit no. Well, you could have did that, but hit Control-Z. Control and Z at the same time. That's undo. Now go get your pick tool. Uh, the arrow. Uh, yeah, that's your pick tool. Check it out. Now click select all. Uh, this one? Yep. Now group them. Now hatch it. Uh, and let's see what it, now do the red H and hit enter. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Uh, Check it out, man. <laughs> he just made that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Why is his mustache like that? Because his mustache is super sweet. And you, don't, and you, so, and you have a sweet beard. All right, throw the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, you just watched the time lapse of um, me showing Noah how to do this coin. It was what would be called a multi-layer coin, if you will. There's multiple different ways to do multi-layer coins. Um, this one in general would involve two different vectors, which I have here, that Noah has turned into a single vector and made a coin out of it. And we'll break it apart and I'll show you kind of what it looks like, what he did here. So this was what we started with. And then we had our Norse ring. I believe what it was called, the file. And we'll show you how to do it. So we'll delete all that and start with a clean slate. So that was called Norse ring. And it was called Viking Skull. So we'll go into depth in another video about me changing the color of things, but it's not necessarily important at the current moment. Right now it's just going to be a visual aid for me. <clears throat> so we're going to use our offset here. Let me get this in the screen so you can see it. We're going to use our offset tool piggyback off of our last video and I believe we did one and we're going to offset inside have that off rather we're going to offset outside and you get this jumbled mess of debauchery is what I've called it before but we use our handy dandy weld function and now we just made that an outline of our entire vector. And you can clean this up some here too by uncombining it. And that makes those uh, nodes editable. Use our pan tool here and grab it and get that other one. Um, but I don't really care about that because I want it to be here. But I'm just showing you how to do it. And now we're going to offset this guy inside a little bit smaller than our original offset of one millimeter. And we'll go ahead and do 0.8 millimeters. And we're gonna offset inside. And we don't wanna delete the old curve. 
And now we want to turn that blue also. And then we can take both of these guys and put them to the center or put to origin. And now we've got a big jumbled mess here, as you see, which is pretty hard to decipher. But what we're really worried about is this very outside line that we did not group to anything else. And we didn't tie it to anything by itself. And so we can use our trim tool here and we'll trim it to our Norse ring. And now, well, there you have it. You've got this vector perfectly situated inside of this vector. Which if you were to just patch that the way it is, it would look something very similar to this. And this is how you could create the multi-layered coin type situation. You could run this a little bit, then switch over to the other vector, delete this, and then hatch that, which would be in the center of that flat spot. And now this would get dug down even further than what you already have there. And I really like this vector. I have no idea where I got it, but I think it is very sweet, like samurai, viking, warrior, I don't know. His beard's cool. But if you were to put them all together, and put this guy back in the center and select them all and group them and hatch them, well, that's just a pretty cool coin all in itself. So, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless of what you could get going on just with that tool that I just showed you here there. So <clears throat> that was pretty much in a nutshell. I mean, we did that in less than five minutes, and so hopefully this will uh, help you do a lot of cool stuff. I'll show you another little trick with that tool, and we'll just pick a random name. How about Noah? Uh, well, let's, let's capitalize. Nothing looks good in lowercase, really. So we'll do Noah. And this is a really cool thing that you can do. Play around and make your stuff awesome. Offset, and we'll offset outside, and we'll do it the one millimeter. Uh, not enough. Ah, uh, didn't select. Not enough. One millimeter is not enough. So let's do three just so we know we're going to have enough. And once again, it's all messed up. So if we used our weld tool, and now <laughs> we have the outline of Noah's name, which is not that great. So maybe the sweet spot was, we'll do two. That's gonna look a little better. Yeah, there you go. So now we've got Noah's name offset. And like I said, it's really fun. You can make really cool stuff. And um, my buddy Christian actually did this in, he did a name in uh, some angel's wings. And it was really cool. And uh, ever since he did that, I, I've, I've kind of caught on to that and loved it so you know what we have coming up next is our favorite part of the show yes it's coming right now without further ado dad joke hey guys so i'm gonna be telling a dad joke today and i've got the perfect one in mind i created in my closet and I think it's a good one. So, if the chicken and the duck had a kid, what would his first words be? Quack a doodle do. <laughs> <laughs> Quack a doodle do. Oh, and I also, while we're while we're here, um, this is the finished result. Chris, our cameraman, who is holding the camera now, this <coughs> was the ball marker that we made for him. And I don't know if we can get a good close up of it. But he went on to win that round of golf that day. I would like to think it was because of the ball marker. Um, what place did he get? 
first place, number one. Yep, just like Clemson is, number one. I had to say that because I made him the ball marker. Well. And cut. So hey guys, I hope y'all like the dad joke, and um, I like the comments last video, or maybe the video before, but I read all of the comments. I may not be able to get back to all of them, but thanks a lot, and subscribe. <laughs> the busy, busy life of a boy during summer break. A busy 10 year old. <laughs> yeah, so we hope you like the coin. Um, a 10 year old did it, so you guys can do it too. Just follow the steps. Hopefully I didn't go too fast for you. If a 10 year old can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, maybe so, except for a nine year old. Uh, getting <laughs> tricky there, but once again, thanks for watching so much. Uh, go to the website, we still got t-shirts. Oh, well, I didn't wear it today. Oops. Well, neither did you. Where's your shirt? Uh, we're horrible at that game, I guess. Anyway, the shirts are on our website. Go uh, go buy you one. It's a chance to win that rotary. It's, it's very Kool Aid, cool. though. It is Kool Aid. It is cool. Yeah. Well, we'll see you next time, right? Bye bye.